but not to uh, not, not to you know embarrass the poor lad. To be fair, the uh, the musical adaptation of Frozen was pretty darn good. How it did it in the West End. What's wait? What's the West End? So it's like Broadway, basically, like Broadway show. Uh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, we. Uh, same thing. Same thing here. They, Heartless yeah. Hunter. Can't look at this trophy information because you're not connected to the internet. Bizarre. Because I'm too lazy to um, take the ethernet cable out of my printer in my office to put my PlayStation <laughs> onto the network, so... You're playing wirelessly? Are you serious? I'm not playing wirelessly. I'm just not connected to the internet. Uh, okay. I did you when I when I first started like streaming. Well, I did a lot of it. Um, but back when I played Life is Strange on stream because I had that on PlayStation. I um, I used the the share play feature just so that I didn't have to. Uh, do anything with my uh, PlayStation, like move it or have a capture card or anything, but that was alright until you start getting latency issues on your home network and then it just didn't work at all. I've never had any issues to work for Wi-Fi or... I'm perfectly honest, it's oh, like... Audio or anything. Uh, you're... I just wish I had your, like, knowledge and expertise on the whole AV subject that push. Yeah. You know, I, I should employ you as my dedicated AV specialist. What's funny is, if it comes to your vehicle and your home audio or a professional AV setup uh, with racks and all that, I can do all of it. But, uh, I mean, I've done stages for colleges and you name it, I've done it. And, uh, yeah, you would think I would be, be better with this on the computer. But for some reason, my brain doesn't function properly uh, with the computer crap anymore. It used to be my my main thing. That, my right. friend, is called getting old. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm, sure. I'm, only, I'm only 24. Jeez, yeah, so that's, that's old. old, man. Pretty old. You, you gotta be at least like 25. No, look, look, the, the, the proof's on the mugglet. I know you're not watching the stream, but my, my, my mug says I'm 30, so I'm 30. Ah, oh, jeez, oh, okay. Mug doesn't lie. Happy birthday. I'm 30 and dangerously close to being old. Uh, trust me, uh, it seems like, it seems like the 20s like to get into your 20s or hit 20 took forever and ever and then it seems like between 20 and 30 it was uh, a long time but between 30 and 40 somehow sped up and then 40 to 50 yeah it's like what happened? How, how am I the soul now? Yeah, time just flies by, man. Yeah, and, uh... Part of that, I think, is that it has to do with, like, you know, when you're when you're really young, it seems like it takes forever. You're waiting for, like, Christmas yeah. or your, your birthday or... And it seems like it takes forever for a, a week and a month to go by. But that's because you've only experienced a very short time at that point. 
but the longer you've been around, uh, the, the, the percentage, the proportion changes to how long you've been alive and to how long, like a year isn't anything anymore once, you, once you're once like 40 or 50. As opposed to a year is a long time when you're four, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I mean, that's that's my take on it. No, I would agree. Here I come. Okay, let's let's start. One year and slightly over five months, and you're 30, Rafirius. Not 30, 40. You're not 30 at all because you're the same age as me. <laughs> Jeez. Still thinking. You yeah. must be, you're obviously about like three months older than me then. Yeah, well, compared to you, I've got. Uh... I've already got one foot in a grave. I knew Oogie Boogie was behind this. All the guests are coming in. Ooh, and uh. So far, got two guesses and so far, uh, darn good guesses. I need to get back on top of like, two guesses. I, I need to go back to making notes. <laughs> Your arts and crafts. Yeah. Cheater, cheater. <laughs> you, you call me a cheater, but there is not one person who, in, from the stream who does not enjoy a good bit of arts and crafts, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. Well, all right, I'm going to go for... Wow. I'm going to go... I like the way Rocket's gone, like, in the middle. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go high 55. So I'm gonna go 55, 842. And if if we were playing Battleship, I'd be hitting all around my Battleship. <laughs> Well, I, it, it, I can say we probably won't get any more guesses. Uh, well, I, you know, we'll wait. Uh, but I can say the closest is that rocket. Oh, like quite close. Uh, especially since, uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. When I saw the number pop up, I was like, "Ooh, we might, ooh, no. we might have a winner." I was gonna, I was gonna say like, uh, you know, within a hundred, but even, even with that, instead of ten, uh, uh, quite close enough for that.
Uh, I'm gonna put us out of our misery then and uh, reveal the magic number. Yeah, that don't work for you, Evan. Yeah. <laughs> Good one, Evan. It's okay. A, it's a very unique command. Okay, here it comes. Drum roll. Three, two, no! one. Oh, wow. Okay. That was that, anticlimactic. Well, that, 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 that just meant I'm supposed to release the answer. Here we go. 56, 426. Okay. Rocket very close there. Yeah. When I saw the 56 pop up, I was like... <laughs> that was close. I don't know. I, I thought about doing, like, uh, different different levels. So, like, you know, say, like... If, within a thousand you get a dollar but i'm not gonna do a dollar thing you have to you can only cash out if you can do that once you hit ten dollars otherwise it would be kind of yeah pointless. like if you get within 500 you get two dollars uh you get within 100 you get five dollars you know, of course, yeah, within 10, then you get 10. Jeez, man, do you want to, do you want to bankrupt yourself? Ah, uh, I've, I've done that before. Fire. It's, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> All right, stalker. <laughs> Everyone's is just like straight up stalking you right now. Well, go for it. You show up at my doorstep, I'll, I'll offer you some delicious food that you never get over there because y'all's food is crap. British food is that's our Gordon Ramsay goes to other countries. <laughs> Makes other food I'm like not, Jamie, I'm, I'm Jamie not Oliver. Sure that's the the whole truth, but <laughs> we don't do blood pudding every year because it's nasty. Can't be a bit of black pudding. Uh, fight these guys on here because um, magic them. I don't want to get pushed off the freaking edge. Yeah, I like black pudding. Uh, I have to say, I've never had it, so I can't. It's, I mean, it, it is, out. it is a, clearly a delicacy. Um, I would have to say, I'd, I'd want it to be made by somebody who really knows how to make it. If I were to try it. No, Sora. Do not go down there. You... Oh, I've messed up my quick commands from that frickin' Ursula fight last time around. A little more wind. What did fire? Oh, 
black pudding. A pork pie, a bit of pork pie, Deathwish. Uh, no, I gotta say, I've, I've never had any any English food. Really? That's that's, I, I find that offensive. I've had plenty of American food in my time. The amount well, of burgers, that's because, and, that's because we amount have burgers and hot dogs and... Yeah, that's because we have the best freaking the years, food out there geez. that everybody loves around the world. <laughs> you, you, you know how many... I mean, we got Ethiopian restaurants. We got French, German, Indian, you, you name it, anywhere around the world. We have restaurants here with it. You know what one thing we don't have here and I've never seen ever anywhere and that that is a British restaurant. I've never seen that exist. I hate this app. Um, what do you mean? <laughs> you should, uh, maybe that's a gap in the market. I need to come over to America and open a fish and chip shop, man. Uh, well, fish and chips is, I mean, I mean, that's not even, I mean, yeah, that's, by the name is, is the British thing, but, uh, yeah, I mean, we, we, we already had that anyway, so, you know, we got, like, fast food places for that stuff, like Captain D's, and, I mean, you get crab cakes, and fish and chips, and yada, yada, yada. The, you know, our chips are actual fries. It's not fish and fries, is it? It's fish and chips. Yeah, I mean, you can change the name while you want, but, you know, it's still the same thing. Turn up and, like, you know, ask for fish and chips over there, and you get a. A bit, a bit of fish with some freaking salt and vinegar fucking things in a foil bag. I mean, geez, you guys need to learn how to speak properly and use your words properly. <laughs> no, we're, we we just be dumb Americans. <laughs> we, we be don't know how to do that. All right. Thanks for the uh, Redeems rocket. Uh, I should... I should redeem just to mess with the scorekeeping. Evil playroom. Huh? Yeah, we'll see. Both chips over here, which would be actually what we all call crisps, and fries are both fried unless they're baked you can have baked oh, versions the... well no you can't oh still a rocket thanks for hanging buddy you can't argue that Evan. you can't argue that it's it's not dollars it's pounds because that's, that's not the... even that's just not even a valid argument <laughs> that's not how you spell it either bailers yeah, you know, but you, you, ha you have to admit too that you talk, uh, speaking of that, like the imperial system, you know, the metric system, y'all are so confused over there because y'all use, and tell, and tell me I'm wrong. You're wrong. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I you to tell me that. Uh, you use both imperial and metric. You use. Uh, kilometers, you use miles, you use stones, you use uh, pounds, you use in pounds, you use in money and weight, as well as stones, and you use, yeah, so many variations in pence and things that mean the same thing that it's like, why? Uh, no, you're incorrect, Evan. Uh, we do drive on the right side of the road. Y'all drive on the left. Which is the incorrect side. 
main. And, and only, and only previous, previously, uh, British occupied countries drive on the left side, such as Australia, uh, etc. Uh, the rest of the world drives on the right side, the correct side. That's why it's the right side. <laughs> yeah, for such a small a little island, y'all have uh, of course our country was developed from people who didn't like being over there and came over here. And then we just did it all better. Y'all did a whole lot of crap to a whole lot of places on the planet. <laughs> now, what you mean? <laughs> that's, uh, that's pretty impressive, you know. We were just Seems following like... orders. Oogie Boogie's told us to seal the hearts. <laughs> It's all Barrel's fault. It was his idea to tell Oogie Boogie about the heart. Yeah, that's right. But but you guys said you should be ashamed. Oh, I've got a safe point now. That's something. Yeah, it's not. They're not. They're not allowed to use. Um, you can still like get fish and chips on newspaper for various, um, but they're not actually allowed to use like proper newspaper anymore because of the um, ink and the print rubbing off and like onto the food. So they have Damn. to use kind of like it's it's specially made, just like plain chip paper really, but it's got like a newspaper pattern printed on it. So. Yeah, kind of like a kind of like a wax, kind of like wax paper almost. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking. We have the same crap, but they, hey, doctress, how you doing? They, oh, they put uh, those places that yeah do like if they actually do actually call it fish and chips, then they will have a, a and it's typically in places like uh, Disneyland. Disney World or theme parks and stuff. You go and it'll it'll have that that food paper. Yeah, you know, it's food grade with the print, but yeah, yeah, because newspaper, yeah, that comes off like big time. <laughs> uh, yeah, we already have enough lead in our diet, and asbestos, and everything else. It's cool, Doctor. So, um, can I ask which, uh, which ending did you go for? Oh, I never knew anybody finished GTA 5. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure I didn't. Uh, I went for the, the the happy path ending. Not killing anyone. Well, that's very anti uh, GTA. Well, no, you. I, well, not by. I don't mean by like not killing anybody at all. Just not killing uh, any of the main characters. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Still not. Yeah. Okay. What do we do here? That thing you've been doing for about 50 hours on this game. Oh. I think I've only been playing for 18, so. Oh, is that all? Yeah. Well, that's, that's all on you, Evan. Uh, it's like. 8k on my screen i'm watching on on my 55 inch now i'm not uh, i'm not dropping any frames so 
a single frame has been dropped. Yeah, your dad has uh, hacked your device. That's what you get for watching wirelessly on a Chromecast. <laughs> Oh, what am I meant to do here then? Let's. I activated the lever. The lever. <laughs> Gotta change something, right? Uh, be interested to know that some people say lever, some people say lever. It just depends on where you, you, you were, you're from in the country here. Kind of like uh, tomato, tomato, potato, potato, yada yada. Uh, but yeah, uh, like I've said before, one of, one of the ones I prefer that is used over there, which where, where it was discovered, is aluminium. Which was aluminum. aluminum, which people always had a hard time saying when they were uh, young, Fire. saying aluminum. But yeah, the aluminium makes more sense. Uh, you know, Fire. especially when you're looking at the periodic table and like plutonium and magnesium. And yeah, stuff, yeah, etc. And it also it, it also flows off the tongue better. Uh, I prefer to say aluminium. Right. So, where do we get, and where do we find boogie boogie? Where did this guy be hiding? Well, in his hiding spot. Just go there, say hi, and. You know. Do your thing. Exit. Do my thing. Yeah, push, push some buttons. Walk around. Get it X. It's not going to involve like space bar, is it? Because that might be a problem. Uh, uh, I think all game developers have removed the space bar from their uh, control options. Just for... Well, it's about damn time. Now you have to hit Control Shift Alt. Escape, delete, F7. Uh, do the same thing. No, I haven't checked. I need to check the delays. Why has Jack got two treasure magnet abilities? Seems a bit weird. It's just an excuse for us to take the piss out of each other, basically. <laughs> Ain't that right, Deathwish? I have no idea what you're talking about. Nefarious said that he's, he finds it pretty entertaining when we uh, have like me and you talking on the streams together, the differences of opinion from like the UK to the US. Jesus, man. Uh, that was sarcasm. 
I can see the comment right there. <laughs> yeah, the, the, there's a lot of there's a lot of similarities and there's a lot of differences. Uh, I say the biggest difference is that we definitely have by far uh, much better feed. I don't think anybody would uh, uh, argue that. Wow. Because, and I only say that because we have like any kind of food you want. And then everything else has been invented and uh, sent, you know, over, over to every other country pretty much in the world. Uh, kind of, kind of goes for a lot of places. I mean, even culture. We get uh, Japan ain't well, not really Japan. It's not, but yeah. Is in culture to get take a lot of keys from our culture, especially the uh, like music, the bands and stuff, pop culture. Yeah, yeah, Korea, Japan, China, you name it. Uh, but we do, you know, we do as well because. We literally have people from everywhere. Yeah. So, which, which is pretty cool, you know. I mean, well, uh, nice Evan, to see that the uh, nice to see that the sponsorship deal is finally paying off. Then, Nefarious. Uh, Finally, with those Pepsi Max outfits. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't survive a day every year being a Pepsi fan. Coke, Coke is king. Yeah. I'm not sure, sure but. Less sugar, uh, better carbonation. Uh, it's got more of the champagne bubbles. Uh, I'm drinking champagne. I'm drinking. I'm drinking Coke. No, I'm talking about the carbonation. Coke, Coke is the champagne of sodas. Uh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Obviously, that's all subjective, but uh, there, there's a reason why our kick outsells every single Pepsi product. Uh, I mean, even you pick regular kick or diet kick, either one of them outsells every Pepsi product, like Mountain Dew. And... Well, funnily enough, uh, that's not the case over here. Well, I'm, I'm just talking about uh, company wide around the world. Torture chamber. Okay, uh, give me back the hearts. You want it? Well, then come on over and get it. Ah! <laughs> now, let's see if I can get their attention. Oh, hello! Oh my goodness, what have we got here? It's like we just walked into a casino. Jeez. Oh, really? Yeah, for first, uh. 
place is uh, Finland's kind of small. Wow. Kind of like Poland and uh, like all the countries over there are small compared to even our states. It's, it's like you, you can find, if you go to major cities, you can find uh, like say restaurants and stuff that have food from anywhere. Like, especially like if I got a uh, DC, uh, Washington DC, uh, which is just north of me. But uh, even Richmond has a lot of ethnic foods from around the world. But yeah, there's. I've never been in to any specifically. Except for, for me, mostly, I, I, I tend to, like, uh, Italian, Mexican, uh, just like, you know, well, like you, pasta dishes, and, um, uh, the Asian Asian feed. Yeah, just depends. Uh, I, I gotta say, uh, I've never been to an Indian restaurant because I had an Indian roommate when I was like 21. And she cooked, uh, I probably said this before, but yeah, I mean, she saved stuff for me to try. That, that, that she made that were traditional Indian dishes with spices that were sent to her from India that you can't get here and yep I didn't like any of it but she never made curry which I've always wanted to try I never have so yeah Yeah, they are Finnish places. But yeah, they're far and few between. I just think a lot of... Uh, unless it's a very specific type of dish, a lot of... The scenes are just very similar across a lot of countries. Hey, what's the deal here? Well, it looks like uh, your spikes thrust up your butt. Uh, the like some more crop. Yeah. Free haircut. Okay, well, it's done a bit of damage. Oh, interesting. Uh, not a great amount. Well, you're almost a green, so... try and um I'm gonna try and stop going up on that one because it's um Yeah. 
uh, just find that. Here's, uh, yeah, that's not just unique for Finland. Uh, it's been a thing for pretty much every country. Like, I, I think I've met here people from pretty much every country on the planet almost. I mean, not actually, but I mean, it's, it's not hard to you. Alright, I think I got the gist of this now. Avoid the dice, because they blow up. Try and dodge the uh, knives when the knives come down. Well, North Pole. Uh, not really doing much at the minute. Oh, it's healing! No! <laughs> well, the... well, uh, that bastard can heal. Wait a minute, so can you. Oh. some different enemies down here now, are you? Okay, that's, um, seems a little unfair, but sure. Yeah, North and South Pole are in countries. Antarctica is, is, is the continent, because it actually has land underneath. And nobody owns it. But here's a fun fact, Metallica, Metallica is the only band in history that has played on all seven continents, including an art concert. So. Yep, well, jiggle it. Okay. Yeah, Metallica has played on every continent on the planet. Okay, let's. I got that weird thing though now where, like, I'm miles away from a save point and I really want to change up my. I really want to change up what I've got. I can't be bothered to go back to the save spot. We was pretty close there though. This the fight isn't as bad as I thought it was originally. Well, you're 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 honing in. I was literally like, like if, if I hadn't if I'd have got more health and I'd ever managed to jump on that platform, I think I would have finished him. So Yeah. Um I think uh, if you don't change too much, I think you can nail it on this next one. Yeah, I, I just need to take my time a little bit. Well, uh, that that seems the... to be the key on all these boss fights. It's not trying to... They're, well, they're, they're all, it's all cycle-based stuff, so yeah. um, you just need to learn the cycles. I mean, I think... Ursula yeah. last week was a bit of a anomaly to that. She was just a pain in the ass. Uh, yeah. Oh, totally. <laughs> yeah, just learning the what's what's coming up next with the triggers and Yeah. Well, you know what I mean. 
Okay, that, that's happening, so that means this is gonna happen. I need to do this now, chill out, and then I'll do, then I'll do my attacks. Just need to keep an eye on like where he's moving along the top so I can fence him in um, and stand on the right thing to actually cause that to be blocked in so I'll probably do anything I'll get rid of these guys Interesting though as well, he doesn't um start he didn't start off with pull holes, so it's um quite nice. Oh I like the stay puff marshmallow man. Yeah. Yeah, uh, or if, uh, Antarctica, pretty, pretty crazy. Uh, weather-wise. And due to the Asian currents, uh, changing. Gradually, yeah, it's, 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 that, that has a huge effect on weather for the whole planet. It's normally, you get, uh, you get a current, you get warm water that goes up north in the Atlantic, and then it gets cooled down when it gets up further north through the Arctic. And oh, there we go. And when it cools down, it sinks. It makes the water sink down to the bottom. And it also picks up fresh water. And wow, he's just a big bag of worms and slugs. Yeah, yummy. I, I, that looks like a bunch of British feed to me. <laughs> That heart was a failure after all. Obtain the Holy Circlet. Samson's report number seven. Guess it's not over yet. How did he get so big? Look, it's brewing with the power of darkness. Boogie Boogie's drawing power from those dark globes, or globs. We have to destroy those things, right? Yes. Uh, so if it was that full of bugs, that mean you need to find an antivirus to install? Yeah, I... I Gonna contact the cafe. <laughs> uh, you mean McAfee? Maybe I'll call. I'll uh, call those uh, companies that are always ring up about you know my Norton Lifelock subscription or something, and <laughs> feel they can help yeah, me out. All right. Do you own uh, WinRAR? Uh, I do. No, I don't own it, no. I use the free version. 
Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of like a long running jig because you don't have to pay for it. You just get the nag yeah. ads. Which uh, I haven't used WinRAR since like the early 2000s or something. Seven zip, man. Seven zip. Yeah, I really, I have used seven zip a couple of times, but Win, I don't know, WinRAR is just always the one I seem to install for whatever reason. Uh, have you ever used Night Night? Uh, no, but I know you've spoken about it multiple times. Okay, just wondering. I know uh, a few people that use it as well, so. Yeah, there's actually, uh, uh, I mean, it's quite nice, but there's also, uh, there's, there's even, uh, well, let me, there's, another piece of software that has because Nanite's kind of limited in what it has and they try to they try to about you know uh keep stuff that's not crap and and what people like and you can you know obviously just you don't have to go through all the next 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 yada 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 crap and and then if you want to update it you update automatically uh without you know if it's already up to date it just checks it and goes nope up to date next and but there are some there's some other one there's a couple other ones that literally have thousands of pieces of software that uh you can do by command line or you can install the gui and do it that way. So, right, okay. And and it does the exact same thing. The actual but, uh, help? I'm getting pummeled. Oh uh, no, we need coyote from the bird runner. <laughs> wow, we need coyote. He would figure this out. I don't I can't figure it out. It's just like I don't know where half these freaking dark shot thing balls are coming from. Oh no. Oh, no I didn't mean figure it out, I meant actually more on he would he would use uh you know the company that he buys all of his the Acme Corporation. Uh, to, to buy some uh, whatever kind of crap he wanted. <laughs> what is that BS? Oh, congratulations. You've climbed all the way up to the top here. Now we're just going to randomly shake the platform so you fall off. Well, yeah. Game's like, uh, you're not supposed to be able to do that. Evan said, What you want about? You, what, you don't know who Wiley Coyote is, Evan? Oh my god. Yeah, Google uh, Wiley Coyote, W I L E, please. E period space coyote. And say period, he won't know what you mean. Full stop. Uh, really? You gotta do full stop? The period is much easier. How about, how about, uh, decimal? I don't know. Why. Place. That, that doesn't really work. Uh, uh, period. <laughs> no! Oh my goodness. 
Yeah. Uh... See, I don't have the Bucks money share over there or anything. Yeah. Well, he's from the he, yeah, he's part of the business. But he was, um, he was a dedicated a rover and wily coyote, wasn't there? I'm pretty yeah. sure. Yeah, uh, back when I was growing up in 70, late, late 70s, especially earlier, he had uh, the Bugs Bunny and Road Runner show. Uh, it, cha it changed. Uh, Looney Tunes was a separate thing. I had like Woody Woodpecker and Chili Willy and other characters, but it was the Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny was, was the main. It, it, it was the mainly about Bugs Bunny, but it had uh, Yosemite Sam and Foghorn Leghorn and uh, Pretty Bird and Sylvester. Yeah, yeah Sylvester. Uh, yeah, the cat. Uh, and sometimes they did a little crossover. Yeah. Uh, with the characters. But yeah, Wild Coyote, you always was chasing after the Road Runner. He was simply just fast. A fast bird. He, uh, always outwitted Wild Coyote, even though he was a genius. <laughs> and he had access to Acme products. Which uh, never really went as planned, <laughs> and he right. fell for and he fell for his own traps. Oh, we're done. It looks like a cutscene for done. Yeah, but so did the last one. So. Well, there's the keyhole, so I'm guessing we're done now for sure. You just shoot a portal on the moon. We did. <laughs> we attained the power of the stars. Gravity has been upgraded. Excellent. Sally, why didn't I listen to you? Don't feel bad, Jack. We'll come up with a Gravity has been updated to Gravira. Next time, we'll do it together. I guess we have no choice. We have to cancel the Heartless Halloween Festival for now. Here, I want you to have this. We obtained the pumpkin head. Is there any time, Sora? Next year's Halloween will be the scariest ever. Motion, memory. We put it all, put in all the necessary ingredients. What else do you need to make a heart? What is a heart anyway? I can't figure it out. So you can just make a heart, if I'm honest. But hey, what do I know? All right, what do we get from the pumpkin head? MP goes down by one, but strength increases and attack increases. Cool. Um, for the sake of losing one MP, let's whack it on. I did a bit of synthesizing over in here. Not too much, though. All right, back to the gummy ship. Gummy ship. Okay, BRB. All right. I'm not doing anything bad. Not now, anyway. I keep an eye on lock and barrel. Actually, I don't like pulling pranks, but I don't want to be left out either. Halloween Town's quiet, quiet with that, with Oogie Boogie gone. So we're going to shake it up. Quiet is boring.
Wow. I, yeah, that's just crazy. Various. No spoilers, Evan. All right. We save. And then we head back to the gummy ship.